Today is the second born day for Kim Porter. This is the day that she passed. And I'm just like in my backyard and I'm giving thanks. You know how the saying goes, like father like son? But Christian Combs took that saying too literal by getting himself in a sexual assault lawsuit and surprise no surprise that he was named in this lawsuit too. Christian King Combs appearing unbothered less than a week after being sued for sexual assault. Diddy's 26-year-old son sharing this video montage on Instagram, having fun at a bowling alley. Carefree clip comes just days after a yacht steward filed a lawsuit against Christian, alleging he sexually assaulted her in December 2022. The victim in the case has produced audio recordings that allegedly shows forcing himself upon her and that he wouldn't take no for an answer. The woman says it all happened during what was supposed to be a wholesome family excursion with Christian and his father. Check this out, y'all. This is Diddy. This is my son, King Combs. I've been watching my pop since I was a kid. And I'm proud of you, boy. Sean Diddy Combs. I lost count of the amount of times I've heard that name these past few months over the amount of people who have accused him of all different kinds of crimes. After Homeland Security raided both his LA and Miami homes in suspicion of sex trafficking activities, according to law enforcement sources, two of Combs' sons, Justin and Christian Combs, who are both seen in the new video, were detained during the raid and later released. The shocking headlines prompted a wave of speculation that Combs, one of the most powerful producers in the music industry, might soon be arrested in connection to any of five recent lawsuits. He has denied all the accusations. But since then, there has been no arrest and few, if any, revelations for tabloids. Diddy writes his biker at Miami amid federal investigation was the best TMZ could do for a headline Thursday. The next day, several news outlets reported on a new lawsuit against Combs, accusing him of abetting his son's alleged sexual assault of a woman but its current status is unclear. On Friday, Combs posted his Victory music video, in which he runs from LA police to Instagram with the caption, Bad Boy for Life. But Diddy's lack of apparent concern and the lack of recent news doesn't mean his troubles are necessarily died down, as investigations could take months to come out with the results and physical proof of what he has been accused of. See a crowbar to get through this gate initially as well, the long guns and a multitude of people as you'll see, they'll zoom out a little bit just to see the amount of force they are using to get inside this home. And of course, the complex in which this home sits is a very expansive one for the American rapper and producer. You can see them checking inside of a vehicle. We don't know exactly what is involved, if Diddy's even there. We don't know a ton of information about this at all, but this was dramatic video coming in of the Los Angeles home there, raided by Homeland Security. Some of those images there on the backs of them. We also saw uh, other images. I want to uh, kind of quickly move to what else we saw as people were led away, potentially in custody. Don't know who these individuals are, if they're related to Diddy in any way, but you can see them, a dramatic video from our Sky Fox team there in Los Angeles as we continue to cover this. And our Fox 11 team is there on the ground right now as we speak. Let's take you out to some of their coverage here as we follow this developing story out of Los Angeles. Then detain those three people inside. We haven't seen any signs of P. Diddy himself. Again, we're hearing that he is possibly in New York, uh, but several people inside the home that uh, will surely be questioned. Uh, it's a very chaotic scene when all of this happened. Uh, lots of, um, of neighbors wondering what's going on. Of course. Here's a timeline of Diddy's sexual misconduct allegations. Diddy spent decades in the music industry, building up his legacy through his bad boy empire and various side hustles to become one of the hip-hop artists on Forbes' list of billionaires in 2022. He has five, number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and 15 hits in the top 10, and that doesn't even include his work producing hits for others. The thing about legacies is that they're fragile, and something that took decades to be put together brick by brick can be seemingly dismantled overnight. Just two months after being honored with a Global Icon Award at the 2023 MTV Video Music Awards, the hip-hop world was turned on its head when Combs ex Cassie filed a bombshell lawsuit, November 16 accusing the music industry mogul of years of sexual misconduct and abuse during their time together. The lawsuit was settled in less than 24 hours, but the floodgates had opened. The 
The artist was peppered with a litany of sexual misconduct-related lawsuits to close out 2023, and they continued into 2024. Combs denied the allegations against him in December. Enough is enough, he wrote. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Check this out. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking and I'm like, you know, I'm about to go into this next era of my life. And um, I'm going to be doing a lot of um, positive things, you know, a lot of disruptive things. Um, a lot of things I really don't want everybody, like everybody to know about. Um, so like on the gram, everybody knows about everything, you know. I want a deeper connection with my fans. So I came up with this idea. I was going to get a special phone number and I was going to be able to give it to my family, my fans, everybody that's down with the movements that I'm about. You know what I'm saying? The team love movement, you know, bad boy, you know, black excellence, entrepreneurialism, getting money, um, vibrations, inspiration, and um, just special unique content that I'm going to share on this, on this phone. And also, on top of that, I'm also going to be able to be in communication with y'all. So when, you, and when I'm in your city, I'll be able to hit you directly. And also, I will be answering questions and talking to people and accepting resumes and, you know, giving information for parties. Man, I'm just going to give out my number. 917-746-1444. 917-746-1444. Cassie began dating comms around 2007, and the two were on and off until calling it quits for good in 2018. The Me and You singer filed a lawsuit in November accusing Combs of monstrous behavior with years of abuse and one instance of rape. In a lawsuit filed in a Manhattan federal court, attorneys for Cassie alleged she had endured over a decade of his violent behavior and disturbed demands, including repeated beatings and forcing her to engage in sex acts with male sex workers. According to the complaint, after she attempted to separate herself from him in 2018, Combs allegedly forced her into her home and raped her while she repeatedly said no and tried to push him away. Cassie claimed that she suffered episodes of horrific abuse during their relationship, including times when he would allegedly fly into an uncontrollable rage and beat Miss Ventura savagely. She also alleged in her lawsuit that Diddy blew up a car belonging to Kid Cudi in 2012 after he learned that the rapper was romantically interested in her. November 2023, a day before the New York State Adult Survivor Act expired, Combs was hit with a pair of sexual assault lawsuits. One was from an anonymous plaintiff who claimed the music mogul sexually assaulted and beat her, while the other was filed by a woman named Joy Dickerson Neal, who accused accused him of drugging and sexually assaulting her when she was a college student in 1991. Dickerson Neal claimed that Diddy had footage of the assault and allegedly distributed it to others around the music industry. With three lawsuits filed against him, Combs agreed to resign from his role at Revolt, which he helped launch in 2023 and no longer served as chairman of the digital media company. 50 Cent has been relentless in trolling Diddy throughout the obstacles in his life and offered to buy Revolt from the bad boy boss after learning he was stepping aside. Side. I'll buy that from you, Playboy, for the low because you know Cadillac and AT&T gonna pull out. He wrote above two photos of headlines about Diddy stepping down. I'll give you a few dollars for it now. Sell it to me, then we can be friends. I'm serious. Call my phone. 18 brands severe ties from doing business with Combs, e-commerce company, Empower Global in the wake of the mounting sexual misconduct allegations against the music mogul, Capital Preparatory Harlem, Revolt TV, Macy's, House of Takura, Tsuri. Producer Rodney Liv Rod Jones Jr. worked on the Love album of the Grid 2023 and filed a lawsuit against Combs in February. Rod accused Combs of sexual misconduct, assault, and harassment. Amid the developments in his legal cases, the mogul emerged with a cryptic message on Instagram. Time tells truth. A message posted on Instagram May 14, which he captioned simply with love. Time does indeed reveal everything. While Diddy's acting all confident and sure of his innocence, the stack of lawsuits and physical evidence piled up till now say otherwise we just have to wait and observe the last verdict they, they made a compilation video of you because they said you were signing real suspect mm. on the on the interview yeah did you see that of course nah. i didn't see it no nah, i didn't see it you didn't see it i swear to god uh, come yeah. on man you saw hey, that yo, world hey, yo, star, hey, and on hey, yo, the world check, check, check this out when they started playing the game the pause game 
I would definitely that came from Harlem too. By yeah, way. came from Harlem. I definitely would say some. Oh my! Whoa! The crowd would be like, "Whoa! Did he just say that?" <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't play games, y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. I don't play games. But um, yeah. Did the you compilation? Nah, I was. I was coming off of being in Miami a night of party, and I don't really remember what I was saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would you like a reminder? Yeah, sure. Play some. Play. Play. Hey, yo, play. listen, yo, I, I love it all. I love it all, man. I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, yeah, I like when you when oh, you scrambling right and scraping for no, no, no. shit. That was you. Scrambling. <laughs> what? You said I like when you do it like that, Daddy. When you scrambling and scraping for shit. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what I was talking about. Hey. Nah, nah. I mean, I was you don't called, go back no, and no, look no. at that stuff and laugh. I mean, it's. I mean, it, it could be funny. I don't really be on it like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like. I'm you sure know, we can I, put Charlemagne's compilation against Diddy's. Compilation. We have a bunch. We put Charlemagne. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, <laughs> I, I also, I also don't do it because I know I'm. I know I'm bad at the game. I know I say like reckless stuff out my mouth that's just not maybe, you know, adding up to with somebody who maybe somebody who's homophobic, but I'm not homophobic and I really don't, you know, care. You know what I'm saying? I just, but um, I'm bad at the game and it's probably hilarious. I would love to see it. I would love to see the video compilation. It's hilarious. 50, yeah. 50 came up here and he was giving you flack for the asking Fab the party. So you, he'll ask you, oh, he'll ask you to play it, play it, play the clip, man. Yeah, play the clip. Go ahead. Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we we party for my birthday before you came to my party. And, and no, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? I asked Fifty about that, and he said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm a nice guy. Yo, what, I mean, why are you and Fifty? Hey yo, why y'all got? Hey yo, I don't have no beef with with with. with I, I don't know why. With, with Fifty, he loves me. Moving back to his 26-year-old son, Christian Combs. Diddy's son, Christian Combs, accused of sexual assault in lawsuit. Son of rapper, producer, and businessman, Sean Combs, is accused of sexual assault in a new lawsuit that named both men. The 31-page lawsuit was filed in LA Superior Court on Thursday, according to an attorney for the plaintiff, Grace Omar Say. Omar Say worked as a crew member and bartender on a yacht, leased by Sean Combs and his family in December 2022, according to the lawsuit. The experience was sold as wholesome family excursion but turned into a hedonistic environment. The lawsuit says and suspected sex workers and other celebrities were often brought aboard. In the early morning of December 28, Christian Combs pressured Omar Say to drink a shot of tequila and shortly thereafter he assaulted her. The lawsuit says Omar Say believed the tequila which she says Christian Combs brought aboard may have been laced with drugs. Sean Combs is not accused of sexual assault in the lawsuit but is included on allegations of liability in aiding and abetting. Aaron Dyer, an attorney for Sean and Christian Combs, said in a statement to CNN that they believe the lawsuit contains manufactured lies and irrelevant facts and says he will seek to dismiss this outrageous claim. The lawsuit cites an audio recording from a makeshift recording studio on the yacht, which Omar Say said is where the alleged assault began. According to a partial transcript included in the lawsuit, Omar Say was being pressured to take a shot and ask Christian Combs, are you me? With Combs answering, take the shot. Following the alleged assault, Omar say mental and physical health deteriorated, according to the lawsuit. She began suffering from anxiety and panic attacks, among other issues, the lawsuit says. The lawsuit is seeking unspecified damages. If I want to do this, then I will. <laughs> you don't touch my legs like that. Soon after, according to the lawsuit, Christian speaks and tries to get her to stay. Who can I talk to? I'm gonna say you. Requ I requested you right now. Well, you can take your hand off my for the first thing. According to the lawsuit, the alleged victim then left the recording studio and attempted to resume her stewardess duties. But the suit alleges Christian found her again, this time asking her to find him a place to sleep. She claims she showed him to a cinema area, but instead of resting, she alleges in the suit that he became violent and wouldn't let her leave. He groped her, the lawsuit claims, took his clothes off, grabbed her arms, and tried to force her to perform oral sex on him. The woman claims she fought him off until someone else walked in. The lawsuit includes photos of a bruised forearm, 
allegedly the victims. As for Christian's famous father, the suit claims he turned what was sold as a wholesome family excursion on his yacht into a hedonistic environment. What is it with these men and their constant involvement with sexual assault charges? Something is not really adding up here. But we may as well hear the news of an arrest very soon, because having this many people out for you can never be a coincidence, nor a good sign. Let's just hope everyone finds their peace and the wrongdoers get what they deserve.